All right, hello there, and welcome to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We are on the planet Kobo. We came here to find Grease, but we have like a whole village here. So, we have two options. Our current... Uh... Our current thingy... Rumor. Rumor has it. The so Grease is supposed to be over here, but we also have... Find missing prospectors. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that now. Boop, boop, boop. Grease will be there. He'll be there when we get ready. For him, but in the meantime, let's go find these missing prospectors. Woo! Wow! Whoop! Bow! No need to do that. Just fell. Oh, and that's a big uh, hole. Okay. Uh, can I. There's. Well, I don't seem to be able to fix this. This is where the rumor is. Sonnen Grotto is. Is what this is. Uh, can I. Fix this to where I can use it? That is the question. And I... We can't zipline this, can we? Oh, okay. Well, we can't exactly zipline it, but I can crawl down it. Or whatever this is called. What is this called? I can monkey bar it. There's gotta be a, a word for that. I don't know what it is, though. Hey, count yourself lucky you can't smell. Mm-hmm. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop sneaking up on me like that. I have to say that compared to the other game... Um... Cal's voice sounds really... I really like it in this one. Oh, wow. Oh, ah, there we go. Boom! Oh, it a dog. A dog up in here. Oh! Mm, oh, the wall. Oh, not the wall. Yes, the wall. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, we're good. <laughs> All right, down this way. Let's see what we have. I heard that. What the? Or where? What are you? Oh, another one. Killer tumbleweeds. Attack of the killer tumbleweeds. Anyone ever seen the movie Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? I saw it. I think it was made in the early 80s. I saw it when I was a child. I really liked it. I need to watch it again. Although I think it's really bad and I would not like it now if I watched it, but... Just out of curiosity. Can I make that jump, I wonder? Let's go this way. This way might be better. Have I been this way? No, they're just already dead. Gorgers were killed by blaster fire. Ooh. A string of gorgers, all of which were felled in an orderly manner, suggesting the intervention of prospectors and not some hungry beast. Oh, jeez! Any more? Hey, okay, can't get around that way. Let's go back. Can't go this way. Can't go this way. Let's go this way. Woo! I can make it. I can't make it. I made it. Oh my god, I'm awesome. Wait, what are you? Sorry, uh, you're just scared. I didn't mean to try to slice you there. Ah, these dang tumbleweeds. Okay, what's up, you? Scan. Oh, you're scanning that. Bramlick. When approached, the spines that cover the Bramlick's entire spherical body extend outwards, deterring all threats. As such, they are known as spikers by the loyal, uh, locals. Ooh. They are easily dispatched, but are mostly content to let strangers be if they are in turn left in peace. It kind of reminds me of a... Like a spiky Langolier. And whenever watched the movie Langoliers? I saw it a long time ago. I should watch it again. 
not a um, like a high quality movie, I guess. I think it was made for TV. I think it might be from a Stephen King novel. I'm not sure about that though. I remember people were on an airplane and the Langolier, Langoliers were like, looked like those, except they were like fuzzy, I think, furry. And they like just ate. They ended up by the end of it, I think. Spoiler alert. Um, although my memory may be completely wrong because it's been like 20 years since I've seen it. Um, but they just kind of ate the entire world. And then, I don't know what happened at the end. I guess the world, universe, whatever was gone. Okay, so that's a shortcut. Coo, 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 coo. I've been down there. Where am I headed now? This way, maybe? Or is this where I came from? I think this is where I came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. So I need to either go back over there or go right here. Right behind me. But where exactly? In here. Oh, I just didn't keep going. Just what kind of creature lives down here? Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Massive rib cage, the exposed rib cage of an enormous creature. Markings on the bone structures indicate this was picked clean by some ravenous predator. Mm. Hope I don't run into whatever picked it clean. Alright, let's uh, meditate. Focus. Uh, no skill points. I don't need a rest or anything. Let's carry on, BD. This is a new area. Uh oh. I think this might be the ravenous creature that picked that thing. Oh god, I really don't need to run into this. Is it a... It looks like a... Oh, what are they called? Um, a rancor. Okay, I was thinking... The only, thing I, only word I could think of was Ragnarok. I was like, that's not right. Ow! Ow, jeez, come on now. That hurts. Ow, oh, you gotta reach. Woo! Take some of that. Ow, that hurt. I'm doing okay, though. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. What am I doing? That's... Okay, so when I try to throw things, sometimes it doesn't work out. I gotta make sure to hold the bumper before I throw... Okay, uh, stim me, stim me, stim me. Woo! Oh god, oh jeez. I'm in trouble. BD, BD, help me. Do so. Ow, ah, ow, that really hurts. Let me go. Okay, I'm free. I'm free. Take that. In your hand. Oh, God. I'm trying to dodge. Whoa, nice flip. Didn't do me much good, but it was cool. Oh, look at me go. I'm really doing it. Now I know it killed those prospectors. Yeah, no kidding. Here's about this. Right on his, right on his doorstep. Rancor. Rancors inhabit the dark places of the galaxy, often at the whim of the dark hearted, towering, bloodthirsty beasts. Rancors are generally best avoided. But if there is no other choice but to fight, warriors must be crushing. What? Warriors must beware crushing limbs, ravenous mouth, and near impenetrable hides. Now we could have been friends, maybe. There's one shot. Was it the Mandalorian? Or Boba? I think it was Boba. The Book of Boba Fett. I think Boba became friends with 
a rancor. Or like the rancor is his pet. Or I guess they were friends. New perk acquired. Shatter. You have discovered a perk. Different types of perks can be found throughout the game and can change the way you play significantly. You start with three available perk slots. More slots can be unlocked as you progress, especially powerful perks may require multiple slots. Uh. Perks can be viewed at any time in the perks section of the abilities menu. Currently equipped perks can be managed at meditation points. Boop, boop. Still a lot of stalagmites to break. I think these are stalagmites. I think stalactites grow from the ceilings. Stalagmites grow from the bottom. Hey, oh, uh, uh. Wait. Oh, this is where I came from. Is that all that was down there? Let's check the handy dandy map. Uh, yeah, that seems to be it. Okay, so now I need to go over this way. Over here. I placed the beacon. So now... I placed the beacon. Does that help me? Any? Or just when I'm looking at the map? Since the echo... Look at this rib cage. Look at this rib cage. Oh, okay, that was in the thing. Gotta be one of the missing prospectors, buddy. A prospector was hunting for treasure down in the caves, but ran into something large, unexpected, and deadly. I wonder what it was. I was probably supposed to look at that before I went down there. Hurts. Shatter. Cost two attacks more are more effective at breaking enemies guard. Okay, sounds good. So I have three slides. This one takes up two. And the first one takes up two. Dang. Back to it. A um, bit surprising, but uh, not too bad. I mean, that's the only one I have, and it seems very useful. So I'm happy to have it. Okay, so now I'm going. Ooh, I need to go behind me. I was almost there earlier. Did I go this way? All the way? Yeah, that's where I went through the crack. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Unless you give me reason. I cannot go this way, can I? No. Maybe I could. If I'd gotten closer to it first, but I can go this way, maybe? It's very dark. Ah, yes, maybe. Is this a new path, or did I just turn around? I'm not sure. I've been here. Yes. Okay, I gotta go back up. Gonna go around this. And then I gotta go. I gotta go that way. Okay, I cannot reach that. I have to take the shortcut a bit. So let me go back to it. Because I have to go back through the crack. Which is my favorite thing to do, so. I'm happy about it. All right, so. Wow. There's the shortcut over there. I mean, I should be able to just go right here, right? That's not that far. Yeah, no problem. Back this way. The back of the very beginning. Oh, I didn't go this way. Oh, I know. Ah, uh, only one. Okay, well that's the first time there's been only one. Another dead prospector. Oh, let me just catch my breath. 
Oh, are you are you tired? There's, there's got to be a way out uh, somewhere. Prospectors. <laughs> All right. Research. A researcher was trapped down in the caves after the collapse of a tunnel. She wandered for days before succumbing to thirst and fatigue. Is that it? I guess so. So where am I going now? I guess that's it. Am I done? Oh. Oh god, what have I done? Oh, I can place multiple... Beacons. Uh, I guess that's it. No, nothing else unexplored. Oh wait, I can fast. I have to be at a meditation point though to do that. But I'm back at the beginning, so I should be able to get out of here quite quickly. As long as I'm, ooh, ooh, as long as I'm going the right way. Yeah, this is it. Did I go this way? No, I did not, because it's just um, a, a pit. What a boop pow! Stoop! Boosh! God. Oh, that shortcut. Oh, well, that's. Shortcut would have taken me right back, but I had to go in that other way to get to where I needed to be anyway. Oh, yeah, I went up this. Okay, there we go. I'm so strong. I'm super good at parkour. I could be a ninja warrior. And I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be going to get a bird. Okay, that's that's my next thingy. My next mission is to get a bird. I don't know if it's supposed to be my mission, but it is what I'm going to do. Pop a little meditation. One skill point available. So I said that I'm doing one survival, then one lightsaber, then one force, but I don't remember what my last one was. Survival's probably good. Reduces time required to heal with a BD1 stem. Eh. That one takes two. Yeah, whatever. Alright. I don't know if the amount of time that a stem kicks in is really something I need to be worried about that much, but whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Gear could use a few tweaks. Yeah, yeah. BD1. So we've got scrapyard. I'm gonna make him all scrapyardy. I don't have one for this. Or that. This is looking pretty cool. I don't think he ever had arms, but for some reason now he looks like he's missing arms. But yeah, I don't think he ever had that. Also, under components, this plus sign always stays there. Why... Why is that? It oh. works, and it looks great. All right. All right, let's give her the bad news. I found the prospectors, your other prospector friends. So, what did you find? Found a bunch of dead prospectors. The mines, but I didn't find any prospectors. So, let me get this straight. No rainbow, well. no survivors, no competition? That priorite's mine for the taking. Oh, you're happy about it. Never mind. Did you? You just wanted the priorite. I'm gonna level with you. Yes, and now that mine's all mine. Better be careful. Who knows if there's another Rancor down there. Yeah. You're just yanking my chain, right? Not at all. Right? Also, if I if I take a nap, 
at this meditation spot, that Rancor will come back. I don't know if that matters to anyone. Also, in the first game, I haven't noticed if it's like this in this game yet. It'll be Sweet. Good to see again. But in the first, in the first, where the others ended up, seers in the past, Marin wandering, ancient history. Okay, so everyone's still alive. That's good. They just split up. Um, but what was I saying? In the first one, if I went out of an area, everything would respawn anyway. So if I had to go and do stuff, go through a few areas, and then work my way back to the ship, then on the way back, whether I rested or not, I would have to fight everything again. For everybody. Everybody and everything. Where do I get a bird? Um, the lady at the top of the hill told me, but I don't remember what she said. You don't look like no raider to me. Quick, just act useless. Easy. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Where's the camera? But you're doing a great job at yeah. looking right. useless. You can't miss it. Can't miss it. Is that a beard? Or like some kind of turtleneck? So long. Oh, well, okay. Eh. Eh. So long. This is it. I said I can't miss it. Come on, leave Turgo alone. Think you can pull a fast one, Meanie. Maybe. It was all just a misunderstanding. Hey. Mm, that looks painful. Let yeah, okay. You don't know what's going on here. They might have good reason. That. Boy, you're stompy. We cannot do this. I mean, you can. Thing sold us a priceless relic, the key we have been searching for. Well, you should be happy then. Of course. It's fake. Oh. I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest. Sure, Turgle. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders. Kill him. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, you tell him, Cal. Walk away. Walk away and you can live today. <laughs> Darn tootin'. Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. Put up boosh! <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what. I, what is that? I do that sometimes. I don't know what it Impressive. does. Next time you want to fight, you go through us. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him, BD. <laughs> <laughs> what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years. It's like he has little sandcastles all over him. That's me. Stay your hand. I shall withdraw in peace. All right. Yeah, you scared. You know I kill you. I kill you dead. Yeah, get out of here. No, no, you get out of here. Don't you ever let me see your face around here again. This is the one who stood up to the Bedlam Raiders. Alright, that that's enough, Turbo. Turbo! Get over here. Yes. Get over here. You're Doma? Well, yes, I am. You got a name? 
Jedi. Should I use my real name? Oh yeah, I guess so. Speedy one. We'd uh appreciate if you kept it. Sort of been yeah, I'm um uh, Alejandro. Right here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turbo. I sure did. We'll keep your secret safe. Cal. I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Why'd you say my name like that? I don't know if I like that. Okay, now can I go into the cantina and see Grease? The Prospectors of Kobo. Relatively rich in natural minerals and some archaeological interest. Kobo has attracted a steady trickle of prospectors in the last several decades. Not all of them stuck around or survived, but those that do live in a thrifty life, ever searching for enough scratch to survive. Is somebody named Monk? Or is it an actual monk? Ravis. The Jendai Ravis is the leader of the Bedlam Raiders. He orders his lieutenant to kill Turgo after being sold a fake key. Pylone Saloon. Pylone Saloon. Doma Dendra. The unofficial mayor of Koba. Oh, Kobo. Doma has seen the outposts ups and downs over the decades. Of all her many tasks, the most difficult is keeping Turgo alive. Ha <laughs> ha. And that Turgle. Potential What'll it be? Nothing. Thanks. Something to drink, I reckon. Turgle. Oh, sorry. A schemer by nature, Turgle is always getting himself into trouble with the Bedlam Raiders. After Cal saves his life, Turgle feels indebted to the Jedi. Well, he should, because he is. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Harry. Big mouth. Vertically challenged. You can come out now. Oh, you know it. Freeze. Tell you, monk. Ah, Grease! Are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope. Not anymore. There's a new sheriff in town. His name is Wait a Cal. Cal. Cal, can't just get over here, you son of a bug. Like, oh, 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 it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Was this hair always that long? Let me look. And at braided. You. you look terrible. Yeah, it's um, good to see. Thanks you a lot. Bruce. I mean, it's been a while since I shaved. Are I found a full beard. Him? I guess I should Are you taking care of the manis? Shave it again. Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, man, mm. I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Jarrah's burnt out on the mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery monk coming right up. Welcome to Pylood Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zeltrot. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monkey and I picked it up from the previous owner through a, well, a, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the manis? Oh. We are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Guerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh, haven't been the same since the team split up. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we, huh? Mm -hmm. You, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Nah, man. Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, Cal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. I should. 
I should check it out. Thanks, Grace. Fine Grease. Done and done. I did it. The former captain of the Stinger Mantis, Grease Drynus is the proprietor of Pyloon Saloon, a sleepy cantina located in the outpost at Rambler's Reach on Kobo. Or Kobo, or whatever. Monk. Monk is the droid bartender at Pyloon Saloon and Grease's business partner. Armed with an encyclopedic knowledge of libations, he keeps on he keeps tabs on troublemakers. Alright, how do I get to my room? I could examine something. This stage has seen better days. That's a stage? What the hell? Okay. Ooh, a crack. No, I gotta go through the crack. Even out here on the frontier. Oh, okay, never mind. It's the first crack I've ever seen that I didn't There's crawl through. Kitchen. Basement must be through here. Wow. Wow. Grace really outdid himself. He sure did. I'll tell you what. Oh, uh, my very own workbench? Hell yeah, I don't think I need it right now, but. New characters or conversations are now available at Pyloon Saloon on Kobo. Grease always had a green thumb. You know he talks to his plants? Well, you're supposed to, and that helps them grow. Actually, just noise. Any kind of sound. What am I doing? Outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. Oh, I can wear that. I don't think I will, but I can. Uh, there you That's go. Sears Halleck set. I wonder why it ended up here. Halleck said, this seven-stringed Halleck said once belonged to the Jedi Sir Junda, who composed music with it using psychometry and Cal was able to play it, which is perhaps why Sir left it with him after she departed the Mantis. I remember that. Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. Or is that the way out? Oh, that is the way out. Okay. I guess I've looked at everything. Wait, what about this? Let's check this out later. I really need some rest. All right, fine then. So that's what I'll do next. So let me... As a reminder, if I can just... Oh, I can't... I can't make a thingy beacon place it. So I'm just trying to remember the um, go there when I get done. Cool. Alright, so I will rest because I'm sleepy. Or let's move. Then I can just relax. I don't sleep in the bed, I just relax in it. Ah, nice and cozy. Oh, whoops. Still talking in your sleep, huh? Okay, hold up. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know it was going to trigger a cutscene. Oh, well. Things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. Weirdo? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what, you're gonna go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, one of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... All right, calm down, Cal. Calm down. Calm down. Listen. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I 
have to hold the line. And where's that gun, you cow? Uh, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you got to take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You got to know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are going to end up losing something you could never replace. Maybe one sounded like it was just farting a lot. Then. This is a smuggler's tunnel. It came with the cantina. Oh. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? Yeah. It's really good seeing you again. Uh -oh. Yeah, you too. Grease, I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, so I'll check that out next time. I'm gonna quit now, find gyro module. So I have to go down there and then I have to remember to go through that door also. Let me go ahead and pop a, pop a rest. Or I don't have to rest. All right, so in the next part, we'll find the, find the gyro and then we'll get the mantis fixed up and do other things, maybe find a bird, hang out with the grease. Who knows what, I don't know. We're just out exploring. I'm okay with taking some time to rest. But I can't walk away from it. Can't walk away from the life, you know. I'm a Jedi. That's who I am. That's what I gotta do, is Jedi. But we'll... We'll Jedi in the next part. So until then, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back. And we'll do all that stuff then. So until then, may the Force be with you. Da 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 da